Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Now let me have a brief introduction of Hyrenda S1 software. First, let's open the software and click the new project and save the new project in our desktop or other places. Then save. Then we can see the operation interface of the software. The top left is the media management zone. The middle is the stage zone or the output preview zone. The top right is the property setting zone, including properties for window and media source. All can be set here. This area is for program edit and program status. Now, let's add some local media source first. Just right click and add. We can add some local videos, tests, and capture cards, and NDI, etc. Now, let's choose some local resource. Find some videos and images and select and open. After adding the resources, we need to add the displays tool. For example, LED screen or projectors. We can see two kinds of output modes for S1. Single output. For the single output, Maximum can support 4K, that is 2160 by 1080 and also support dual outputs. For dual output, it support horizontal tool and vertical tool, surprising outputs. Here we let's take one up 2K output as example. This frame is the output frame. After we select the output frame, we click open on the right, then the output will be activated and right click and select connection then the media source will go to the extended displays now let's come to the program edit area to do the setting for the windows and programs let's start to make the programs for the show now we need to make different layouts for the screen it can be triple windows full screens for one window and also some other settings now let's select full screen and set its size into the same as the extended displays 1920 by 1080 select it and put it into the output frame then we choose the triple screens here we have left middle and right screen after selecting, we can change the name and size of them. For left screen, we can make it the size into 500 by 1080 and lay on the left. For the middle, we make it into 920 into 1080 and make it into the middle. For the right screen, we make it into 500 by 1080 okay we can also see two more settings below the test and the audio now let's get them first start with the windows first after we set the window we can Drag the media source into the set windows and play it. And we can also make the rotation for the layer in this place. After the window set, we can just drag the media source into the window. For example, the first one, we made this signal into full layer. And for the three layers, we just drag 
Three signals in. Now we play. It's full screen. And switch to three windows. Then, if you want to make more layouts, you can make it in other programs. Just drag and lay the signals in different screens. Now we have different programs, different layouts for the screen. Now we can also add more programs from here. Now we can also do some property edit editing for the videos. For example, the first video we select it and change its properties on the tall right side last tall right side. For example, we set the starting time and end time of it. So we change the time of the video. Just play a part of it. We can also make the mirror in different angles. We can also add layer masks for the video. Different kinds of layer masks are available. And we can also make different adjustments for the signals like color, transparency, volume, and all kinds of other things like contrast, brightness. And we also have color function here. Suppose if we have a video which is having black edges like this, there are black edges on top and bottom. If we want to remove it, how to do it? Just use the crop function. So we are doing the crop for the top and the bottom for this video. Now we can see the black edges are removed. It's full screen now. This is how to do the property setting for one video. Next, let's come to the switching of programs. There are several ways of switching. One is just click the mouse and play. But this is not accurate for the switching. The other way is to switch by the arrow key. From the setting, we have a setting for switching by arrow key. After we set it, we can switch by the arrow key in the keyboard. The other way is to switch by the shortcut key. For example, we select program 1 and we set the shortcut key into A. The other program, we set it into S. And the next one, we set it into D. Now, we just switch by the shortcut key from the keyboard. Just one remind, when we want to do the shortcut key switch, we need to select the program zones at first. Otherwise, you cannot switch by shortcut key. This is all the switching by manually. And we also can switch by the external device. In the input, we can add external device control like MIDI or DMS 512. Suppose we take MIDI 
console as an example. Now we can give it a name as ZZ and tip the length option. After we push the t-bar, it can learn by itself and the API can be loaded here. If you want to switch the MIDI, we can pull the media name there. Now if we press the media console, we can control the program sex. This is another way just to control it by external device. We also have automatic, automatic, automatic switching. It's done by the property editing. Suppose for the first video, we, if we want to make it into loop to other videos after it's a finish, we just go to here and select loop to other programs. And we can select program 3. This is for one single video. But if for one program there are multiple videos, how to do it? We can set one video as the timeline. For example, if we select this signal as the timeline and make it into loop to others, and we select program 2. Okay, then let's see. After it finish, it switch to program two directly, automatically. Okay, this is how to set the switching modes for the program. Next, let's go to the test. We can see there is a test layer below. And we can also add tests in the media management area. Now we can input and test for this layer. Let's say one, two, three, four, five, six. We can change the fonts, the size, the colors for the test. We can also change the row width for the test and the speed for the row. Okay, let's make it like this and drag this layer into the output. We can also change the size and the position for this test layer. Okay, we put it on the top and put the layer into the window. And play it. Now, because the test layer is at the bottom, so we cannot see. Let's put it up. Now we can see the test is lowering on the top. And that's all for the basic function of the S1 software.